With the rapid growth of cloud computing, big data, and 4K video, services on enterprise campuses are migrating to cloud data centers. Most of the traffic that used to be switched locally now passes through cloud architecture. What kind of network architecture do enterprises need to run the cloud-based services? In addition, the explosive growth of videos, internet, and IoT is posing increasingly higher requirements on bandwidth and delay. What type of network can deliver high bandwidth services with low delay? Since 2009, National Broadband has been globally promoted to create all optical cities, which are becoming a part of people's daily lives and work. What sort of network is required to build an all optical campus? Ji Take Huawei's Xi'an Research Center as an example, which has more than 15,000 employees. It has facilities including offices, canteens, data centers, hotel, and training center. The Xi'an Research Center campus, LAN, is built using an agile POL solution. It adopts a flattened L2 network, which is simple and easy to manage and provides high security and reliability by supporting data encryption. The OLT is deployed in the data center's central office along with other core devices. The optical fiber network is deployed using passive ODN devices. Centralized optical splitting is deployed inside buildings and bi-directional plug-and-play is realized through pre-connectorized drop cables and field-mountable optical connections FMCs, with optical cables running as far as desktops. Finally, the network connects to business ONUs, which connect to telephones and cloud terminals. In addition to providing cloud services to employees, with daily applications such as conference desktop sharing, telepresence video conferencing, and lab testing, the campus network also carries integrated services such as video surveillance, Wi-Fi, door access control, and television. All these services are carried by just one optical fiber network. Different types of buildings require different ODN deployment schemes. Centralized optical splitting is most suitable for campuses with low-rise office buildings. White cascaded optical splitting is more suitable for high-rise buildings. ODN deployment involves various types of optical cables according to application scenarios. This is a drop cable. With a prefabricated connector at one end, the other end is terminated by FMC that realizes plug and play. Due to no splicing overall, it is easier to deploy even than network cables. This is riser cable with fibers EC2 mid-span branch connect and deploy. This is invisible optical cable which perfectly blends with its surroundings and is easy to install. Fibers have many advantages. They are much smaller in size, less susceptible to oxidization and electromagnetic interference, deliver larger bandwidths and have a longer coverage. Huawei offers multiple solutions to match different service and situation needs. The Agile POL solution enables fast service provisioning, visualized management of fiber resources, and precise fault location. Compared with a traditional LAN solution, the Agile POL solution uses optical fibers in place of network cables, significantly reducing cable routing space and COs. 
power consumption, and fault risks that normally occur with active devices, improving line deployment efficiency and significantly reducing overall TCO. As with Huawei, more and more enterprises are selecting Agile POL solution for their lines. Huawei is a trusted partner for a large number of customers with its leading technical solutions and superb end-to-end -end delivery capabilities.